the highly effective ones are the ones that get a, a bonus at the end of the year. I'm striving to get that bonus. So I think it's a great idea. It gives me something to work towards. I'm striving to get that bonus, and the bonus is ten thousand dollars, which is, which is it's merit based, but there's some there's some substance, there's there's some meat to it. It wasn't just a one-time deal. You had to be effective five different times for your scores to to be at this minimum, highly effective rate. Um, and for those that are minimally effective, I think two years of, of being minimally effective, I think there's there's some parameters that you can be terminated after that. So there, there's, some, there's a high end where you're doing great, and then there's some support systems down at the bottom for those that are not doing so great. I received a bonus last year that was ne um, nearly half of my entire salary. That's huge for a teacher. Um, my wife and I have been trying to save money to buy a house for a, a little over a year, and we had a plan, like a two and a half year plan, to be able to do that. With that bonus, that cut our two and a half year plan down and we just needed a couple more months. I mean, that was tremendous and that was huge. So impact is made instructional, which is above and beyond, um, it, you know, is it, the largest impact. I grew as an instructor to my students, but also professionally, I got these experiences and personally, um, you know, that conversation has just been huge for my family and I. I like the fact that people are trying to kind of tease out what the aspects are of teaching because teaching is um, it's a it's a complicated profession and there are a lot of things we do that in fact are pretty subjective uh, and I like the fact that people are trying to be more objective about it uh, I think as a tool uh, it's very effective in helping us kind of analyze what we're doing thinking more closely about what we're doing and reflecting on each of those the nine aspects I, I think the nine aspects they chose are, are pretty good um, I think that they, they are reflective of a piece of it but I don't think it's the whole picture under impact I'm evaluated through a few different um, lenses uh, one of which is the um, observation so five times throughout the year, um, I am observed um, three times by my principal and two times by a master educator. Those um, observations lead to a score, uh, one through four. And those scores are um, an average of a nine-point rubric that they use to evaluate us. Between five evaluations throughout the year, you get a pretty good picture. You know, because one observation or two observations I don't feel are enough for me to really know my practice as a whole. And I think that five, I actually wish there were more, <laughs> but I think that five is a much better way to get a bigger picture of your practice overall. The way we're evaluated as an art teacher, we have the same, the same core where everyone's given a percent of a pie. For me, my pie is not as big as everyone else's pie, but I still, part of my pie is still data driven. So what I do as an art teacher is I make sure that all of my lessons have a reading component, a math component, or even a science component. So I know when we get our standardized test at the end of the year that I've made some effect or hopefully that I'll know that a question or two that we're working on throughout the year is going to be on, on their, their final DCCAS test. And the way I do that, I've been doing this for 12 years, so I have an idea of what's on these tests. And I, I drive my curriculum and what I do throughout the year to hopefully answer the question I'm going to do is going to fall on those tests. Mm -hmm.